Uh, welcome to the general meeting for the Beyond Eyes Neighborhood no, Council for Kathy, July. Over here. Shh. Excuse me. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hi. Um, anyway, first of all, uh, the call to order and the Pledge of Allegiance. Who does the call to order? Is that you? I don't. Okay. Where is? Oh, there he is, Mr. Kamara. Will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. Always. I enjoy it. I enjoy being American. <laughs> Put your right hand over your heart and please repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Someday. Yeah, not today though. Um, okay. Uh, correspondence, blah, 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 blah. Do we have any uh, welcome to all the new stakeholders, if anybody's new here? Uh, all right, public comment times, uh, public comment. So what would we do first? Public comment? Yeah. Okay. Uh, public comment, and the treasurer would like to give the first public comment. Yes, because unfortunately, uh, the treasurer's report and secretary's report was left off the agenda, so I legally cannot make my uh, treasurer's report or my MER. Because uh, that would be a violation of the Brown Act. So I still brought some stuff to update you guys on our funds and everything, but um, we may have to call a special meeting, um, and ideally soon, because my report's due 10 days after the general meeting. Um, the MPG we all voted on for the second time in June for California Safe Schools was denied by Dunn because they were saying they didn't like that we were trying to use 2015 2016's budget money for the 2016-2017 year. And I tried to argue they needed their money ahead of time, like any organization, they didn't like that. So they just said no. Uh, if we want to vote for the third time to approve it for the third time, we can do that again. But we would need to call a special meeting for that because otherwise we'll have to wait till August and they won't get their money in time. Miriam, sit down, please. So we tried to spend money towards the end of the month like we voted. We literally had our hands tied behind our back because we still have the $500 limit. Um, <laughs> my first credit card had a higher limit. So literally we couldn't purchase almost all the things we agreed to purchase. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's all I have to report. Just that we, we we're gonna need to call a special meeting if we wanna fund this MPG. And we're definitely need to gonna call a special meeting to approve this MER. And that's it. And I'll pass these around so you guys can see. Bless you. Thank you. No Oracle? Sorry, I like jumped the gun. It's all right. Before we do any business, roll call. We should do roll call before we do roll call. All right. Roll call. Jeff Lynn here. Jason Ackerman here. Jeremy Pessoa here. Stacy Rains. Here. Paul Anand. Uh, he called me and told me he'd be right. absent. Jacob Lynn here. George Thomas here. Howard Benjamin. I saw him. Oh, that's right. He's here. He's just getting food. Getting food. Mm -hmm. John Hendry here. Joseph Lazarovitz here. Jerry Martin here. Veronica Marin here. Penny Meyer here. Austin Knoll here. Kathleen Patton. Coming. Okay. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay, so thanks. Uh, Maria Skelton. Here. John Camara. Here. Quentin De La Cuesta. Uh, Sorry, Carino. Carino. Wow. I don't know where I. <laughs> I renamed you. Here. Cute. Sorry. Uh, Steve Friedman. <laughs> Here. Double seven. And we're done. Yes. All right. We have a quorum. We have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, before we get to public comment, we're going to do the uh, any talk by any representatives of any of our local political leaders, and then we'll get to the public comment. So I see we have Guillermo, and we're doing public comment after elected official reports. Okay. Yes. Unless you like to do that after, would that be okay? No, you have to move ahead of time. You have to move the agenda. You make the motion to move the agenda. Someone seconds it, you vote. All right, so I'm, I move to move the agenda. I second that. All in favor, and all you gotta do is do a uh, vote. Okay. What are we voting on? Unanimous. All right, cool, moving Super. on. Terrific. 
Okay, so I see Guillermo, I see Mr. LaSalle. Anyone else back there? Oh, I see Angie. Angie. Okay, well, ladies first. Angie, when you come on down. Yes. Hello everyone. Again, my name is Andrew Amaya. I'm with Assemblymember Nazarian's office. So one of the announcements I wanted to make is that we are having our Are We Ready for Self-Driving Cars panel discussion tomorrow over at High Tech LA, which pretty, is pretty much at the corner of Balboa and Victory. So it's a wonderful discussion. It starts at 6 p.m. We're going to be talking about why we either need autonomous cars, what's the function of an autonomous car, and how the government's role should be in it. So we're going to have panelists from USC, UCLA, as well as DMV and um, LA Metro talk about these different uh, varieties of topics. So one of the major things that we're going to also include is how it's going to affect commuter traffic and the valley and residents in general should these autonomous cars move forward. So this is going to be a very exciting event for anyone who's interested in cars or in general wants to know about what's going on. There are uh, um, blue flyers right over there at the table. Feel free to take them. We have our phone number in the bottom. It's 818-376-4246 for anyone who has questions. But I'll also be at the back over okay, here sure. um, to answer any questions or if anyone has any questions within the state um, jurisdiction. Also, I want to make an announcement. I want to thank Candido in advance for providing us and John for providing us with two things. One for the art walk, they provided us with the drinks and the snacks, and also he's gonna, they're gonna be providing us with the snacks and the drinks again for this wonderful event. So again, thank you in advance, um, Van Nuys Neighbor Council, for everything that you've done to help us out. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Um, Mr. LaSalle. Oh, there he is. Hello, thank you for having me. Um, just first and foremost, after uh, my presentation, I do have to run out for Midtown North Hollywood, another area that I cover for the congressman. So again, Kenny LaSalle, Office of Congressman Tony Cardenas, here in our lovely 29th Congressional District. I want to thank the council for posting our events on your website. Uh, we've been getting a lot of callbacks from this area, meaning that we're um, actually um, your outreach efforts are helping us. So that being said, we do have a mobile office tomorrow. So the congressman, you know, feels like a mobile office is needed, especially in our big district. So what he has been planning on doing is selecting one day a month to go to a different neighborhood here in the congressional 29th district, be there for three hours, and then take in constituent um, constituents questions services and potentially get new casework out of it so that way uh, more resolutions are made and more uh, services are provided here in the congressional district so that will be for tomorrow at the mid valley ymca from 4 p.m to 7 p.m so if you're free please um, come visit we'll be there also, another, another event that we're going to have on July 21st is our grant workshop. We try to have these every you know, quarter. Uh, last one, it was a big success. Uh, a nonprofit was able to make a connection with NEH and Cal Humanities and was able to, through that guidance, able to be uh, funded for one more year. So we're going to have our annual grant workshop, our first one for um, this year, July 21st, over at the uh, Japanese Garden. Yeah, the budget well, already got passed around. Lastly, I want to let you know that our office does provide constituent services. So even if it's a question on, hey, how is my student loan doing? Because uh, school is about to start. Come to our office, we can make an inquiry with the Department of Education and get you a resolution and some clarity on what is going on specifically with your issue. So other than that, I'll leave a little stack of cards in the back. I'll be here for three minutes and I do have to run out. Many apologies, but thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, and saving the best for last, is Guillermo still here? Yeah. No, there he is. 
I think there's one more city council Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for having me tonight. And um, I wanted to uh, take a moment to thank everyone um, for the help that you guys have given our office. I know the Van Dyke Neighborhood Council has been very good about posting our our um, our events as well. In fact, some members have, you know, time time allowing members have been very good about coming to the events as well and giving some of their time to do various this, uh, various of these events. Again, I also want to thank the members who attended um, the uh, Van Nuys Community Cleanup that our office hosted at Delano Park a couple weeks ago. We picked up a lot of stuff. I know um, LA, LAPD was there. We had the Van Nuys Teen CPAB and, and uh, I saw Carino. I know some folks may or may not have been able to make it. I was on my own section, so I may not have seen some of you. But uh, thank you so much for that support. We really appreciate it. It was a great day. It was pretty hot out there, but we got a lot of stuff cleaned up. Um, this coming August, and I'll send a flyer to you guys once once this event is over. But uh, August, uh, Friday, August 12th, we are hosting the um, movies in the park here in Van Nuys again. We're going to be hosting Kung Fu Panda, popcorn, hot dogs. Everything's free. It's open to anyone. Feel free to come out. It's a great event. Um, and very quickly, right now, I'd also like to introduce my colleague Marco Sanchez, who is the uh, district director for our office. I'll give you the floor. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know you were here. No, that's cool. I, Welcome. I, 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 good afternoon. My name is Marco Sanchez. I'm the new district director for Councilwoman Nuri Martinez. Uh, previously, I worked in the areas of Panorama City and North Hills. So great, um, great continuing your service. Thank you for your stewardship in the Van Nuys area. Uh, continue the great work. Don't hesitate to call our office when it comes from small things like bulky items, potholes, things like that. Stop. To what was that? Just kidding. Sorry. Oh, and as well as uh, homeless encampments. I know that's been an issue throughout Council District 6, and I just want to quickly showcase a pilot program that LAPD has called the HOPE Team, which is 10 officers out of the OVB office, uh, Valley Bureau, which actually goes actually goes to these encampments and help them go through every step to go through the process to get out of the street, and then as well as getting the cleanup processes. But if you can't, you're in good hands with Guillermo, don't hesitate to call the Van Nuys office with any questions, concerns, or even bad jokes. Oh, so anything else? I have a quick question for you, um, both of you. I got questioned by um, some of our citizens recently about the vacancies that we have in this building that we're in now. And I guess at one point there was a Quiznos and a yeah. submarine sandwich shop and a, maybe a coffee shop. Could you go back and figure out who it is either within the council's office or perhaps in our local government that's responsible for attacking those empty spaces and maybe report back or maybe you have an answer now? So I know um, at least two of those units are currently in litigation with the city. Um, the other two are not. Um, but in terms of getting them used, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's just, it, it's an empty space, yeah. and it's a, it's a newer building. It just kind of promotes blight. Yeah. And if you're, if you're going to tell us it's in litigation, that's fantastic, but let's find out where it is yes. in litigation. So those two, one of them dates back to a couple of years. I'm not exactly sure where in the process it is, but I can definitely see if I can find out. Great. Um, as far as the storefronts, uh, it would, believe me, we feel that it's a good idea to have those filled up. Oh. They're right there. All right, so yeah. maybe next time around you could just bring some summary facts and yeah. details for us. Yeah, I'll do my best to do that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. How about filling one of those up with the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council office? Yes. Yeah, we're still looking into that, That's so it. I'll just get you an answer too. <laughs> yeah, I, I got checking that. Thank you. That'd be nice. Thank you. Okay. All right, that brings us to public comment. I have three public comment cards, so I'll do them in, uh, in this order. First, uh, Miriam Fogler. Hurry up and get your food. Yeah, put Take down the breath. food, Miriam. Please use the tongs um, with the excuse food. Excuse me, if you public comment, please come to the podium. Right now, Miriam. Well, Did you like that, that we had a rolling blackout here, and it was, was a very big, big one. Five hours it lasted, and it was scary. I don't know if it happened over here in the Van Nuys area, but... Um, I'll join you. I know I got two minutes. I know that. Oh, no. Our blackout was two minutes. Oh, okay. Van Nuys was two minutes, but ours would last five hours over there in Panorama City and Arlita. But anyway, um, somebody t now I, we lost the uh, Golden China. Uh, Richard said. Are you that's using something? paper plates now, or I'm sorry. <laughs> the Golden China, <laughs> the Chinese, the restaurant. 
over here on Van Nuys Boulevard because of the minimum wage. Thanks. So I opposed it. Um, the fact is that this restaurant's been there for years and we should have get help that restaurant. It's just a fine example of what's going on here in Van Nuys. It's so important. And uh, somebody told me there is a lot of homelessness around that area. It's very rapid. Around here, around the Civic Center, is very bad. So it needs to be dealt with. And we need to get the video conferencing open. And I'm going to talk to Richard, hopefully, that uh, we can now pursue this on a legal channel because something has to be done. It's ridiculous what's happening in our, in our community here. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Candido Morez. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good evening, everyone. Mr. President, uh, I was informed uh, tonight that the uh, Jeopardy, Van Nuys Jeopardy program, which was located on the corner of Woodman and uh, Oxnard for, since 1993 when we first opened it up. It's now at Sylvan. You know, uh, this, the tragedy of this all is it was one of the first in the city. And if you take a look at the one that they have at the Devonshire Division, it's a beautiful building. It started about uh, 10 years later and yet they have this huge facility. It, uh, like if you would go over there today, there's over 300 kids. So now we're working with a school. We're trying to get this Jeopardy program going over there. You know, we see all the, the problems that we're having in this country between the officers and, and the public, and it it's, it's saddens me to see so many officers die. We sad to see all the, the deaths that are taking place. But you know, the Jeopardy program was like a bridge between the, the community, the kids, uh, and the police officers. No, if you saw it, you wouldn't believe it. It was just amazing, okay. the relationships that the police officers had. Uh, they're doing a program here called Summer Nights uh, uh, Lights here at the De uh, Delano Park. Uh, Maria is here. She brought a, a wonderful group of people here. Thank you again for doing that. But here we sit in Van Nuys again. Why is it that all these other uh, divisions are, are, have these beautiful programs and we sit here in Van Nuys and we have nothing. Even though we were the first ones to start the Jeopardy programs and have to start all these beautiful programs, but where did it go? In 12, 14 years, where did it go? That's the question you have. It's just like the streets, the Van Nuys Boulevard. You ask yourself, how did it happen? How did it happen? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Richard Hopp. <laughs> Uh, for clarification, I don't represent or have anything to do with Miriam Fogel, except, excuse me, ma'am, except if she has something in writing only to the Lick Committee or to the Neighborhood Council. I don't do anything for her personally. Who said you did? It was my understanding based on her representation that oh. I'm working on something. Okay. So anything with Ms. Fogel, I would only do in writing. Just want to make sure that's very clear. Um, I'm, the chair, I'm the chair of the Lick Committee. Any questions on what I'm doing or what's happening with the committee? Once, twice, okay, no questions. And my last thing, uh, I sent a Public Records Act request to Dunn regarding the how to increase the limit from $500 to $2,500 on the P card. That was done on June 20th. Once again, they don't respond. I made it very clear uh, in my nasty gram called the meeting confer that if they don't do it, I will file uh, something called a writ of mandate to compel them to tell me how it's done. And I would, of course, include Ms. Quinn since she's been a piece of trash to this neighborhood council for a long time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Could I address the... Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, I have uh, sent... Uh, a litany of paperwork uh, to the mayor's office and to the uh, controller's office, as well as Jill Banks Barad, and, who is the head of VANC, yes, and Glenn Bailey, who is a VANC member, in regards to the uh, credit limit. There presently is 97 councils in the city of Los Angeles, and all 97 councils, with the exception of Van Nuys, have a daily credit limit of $2,500. In front of witnesses, Sahag, uh, Penny, um, Larry, uh, Hannah, um, we were told that, oh, of course, you have a $2,500 a day credit limit. Uh, whatever I ordered, uh, the credit card was denied if it exceeded $500. 
even if it was five hundred and one dollars. Um, I uh, spoke to. I spent at least a week on the phone with Dunn after twenty phone calls with Mario Hernandez, with uh, Atzi A T Z I, and uh, a, a number of other people at Dunn. I was assured that um, our credit limit of five hundred dollars would not be increased. Uh, that we are the only council that would be maintained at five hundred dollars, because their their communication with the Union Bank is through one individual, and that individual refuses to communicate with Dunn. Now in all of the paperwork that I've turned in, I made it clear that with 97 councils and $40,000 each, that individual at Union Bank is in charge of $4 million of taxpayer money. And that individual at Union Bank can't take the time to open up his computer locate the position of our credit limit and insert a two in front of a five and make it $2,500 and then hit the enter key and that would mitigate the problem. The individual uh, has no contact with Dunn according to Mario Hernandez and Atsi, also Kabibi Connors uh, told me uh, that uh, they have no control over the Union Bank, but yet the Union Bank controls four million dollars of your, your, and your money, and all of ours. It's Union Bank of California. Armando Ruiz would not return any of my phone calls after seven phone calls to Armando Ruiz. Mr. Um, we're still I, in public comment, and you have exceeded the two-minute limit that applies to board members and stakeholders alike. Um, I'll, I'll allow Howard to continue. This is an important issue, Mr. Vice President. All right. Uh, succinctly, um, we are at a stalemate, uh, according to uh, the latest uh, information I got from Dunn. Um, we sit with a $2,500, I'm sorry, a $500 a day credit limit, which means that the uh, flash drives that we approved and all anything that exceeds five hundred dollars needs to have Dunn's approval now Dunn's approval consists of Mario Hernandez calling my home phone number or my business number at 5 45 p.m. Friday evening and telling me that the credit limit has been ex uh, extended to $2,500 only until 12 midnight. <laughs> so from 5.45 p.m. on a Friday evening to midnight Friday, that's when we get to spend the money when they seem to feel that it's possible for us to spend the money. Now, it's impossible to spend that money in those six hour time in that six hour time period What's going on with that? that's all i've got to say obviously uh, speaking of uh, uh, to ask an obvious question uh, what is the do you have any idea what the real reason behind all of this is because this sounds it's a clerical error it sounds that they're unwilling to uh to uh, fix so effectively they don't admit they're wrong by the sounds of it Correct. Oh, they've admitted that they're wrong. So what's the holdup? I mean, I mean, for several they meetings, they have no it's been communication with with the Union Bank. Huh. There is one individual in charge of all 97 councils purse strings at Union Bank, and that individual will not communicate with Dunn. Or if he does, he communicates with them when he okay. feels like. Do we know why that is, though? J Jacob, Wait, come on. Uh, this is public comment. We're not supposed to be having discussion during public comment. I have, I have no clue. Uh, okay, nice. All right. No. no. We, we, we okay, really well, Jeanette has the next public comment anyway. Yeah. anyway. Right, so right. why don't we go to public comments? All I wanted to say on that issue is when I was the treasurer, what I did to combat this, because I've been doing this for four years, I just wrote the checks. I didn't care. The checks are one thing. Yeah, the credit card's are different. No, I know, but, but you 
know how we got around that. Yeah. So what what I did was I just went ahead and wrote the check whether they approved it or not, and they didn't have a choice. The matter got paid. So I suggested Stacy do. She's afraid to. Bottom line, what Howard and I did was we split up the the charges. They don't like that, but that was how we got around it back then too. So I don't mm -hmm. know what to tell you, but they're going to keep playing that game unless somebody really goes down there and well, you know, and you should do that. Okay. The bank wouldn't speak with me. That brings us to public comment. Uh, okay. Next yeah. public comment is Jeanette Hopp. Okay. Now. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Mobile mic. Oh, okay. Um, I just wanted to let you know when I see on here that we have somebody under new business A, Marcella Rodriguez, who's sitting behind me, going to uh, be letting you know that she's running. I also wanted to do that, but I ran into some problems trying to get the proposed paperwork. So all I can tell you is I am a member of GLAZA, which is the Greater Association, Greater, yeah, Greater, whatever, Association of. Uh, Los the Angeles, Los Zoo, Angeles Zoo, Zoo Association. Association. Thank you so much. And have been for 28 years. Um, I showed Jeffrey my backup okay. to prove that. I printed out from their website the form that states that they are a nonprofit. My husband and I have been supporting them for that 28 years, and uh, we've added our son now. He's doing it as well. I've gone down there and volunteered and used to do some tours and some other things they ask you to do, so I've been very active in the group. Um, lately, not as much. I've been... And I want you to know, and you've already heard this before, um, um, worked for LA Unified for 25 years, was the uh, District Advisory Council chairperson in the Valley in zones seven and eight in region four, and I forget the other name because they kept uh, re renaming it, for 12 years each. And um, I was also a school, on the school site council a chairperson at two of my son's schools. Um, I was an inaugural member of the Parent Collaborative, which the parents founded, and it was a very large organization that encompassed all of the other organizations on LA Unified for Parents. And we wrote, and I was in, okay, I'm trying to hurry. I was, um, this, what is the word I'm looking for? It went right out of my head. Uh, the, one of the main people that wrote PL 103-382, give me a little extra time because you gave uh, him a lot more. Um, uh -huh. Section 1118, which is the parent component of that law, which has been changed to uh, Title I I'm mean, to, sorry, but uh, you can interrupt, Ms. Hopp. No well, let me help behind. you. Let me help. I mean, we've already had this conversation, but so everybody hears the same conversation. Per the bylaws, we have two, as of right this second, uh, empty seats for yeah. nonprofit. Uh, by the deadline, which you were aware of, everybody's aware of it, the only person that got the required paperwork to me for a, a seat is uh, Ms. Rodriguez, and that's right. why we're voting on Ms. Rodriguez tonight. Right. There is still one empty seat left. I understand. And so if the paperwork gets then here, then you can run for the next seat, yes. and you can give this speech next month. You have that. And now I would like to just roll lodge one little complaint because you allowed Mr. Morez to speak for way longer than two minutes. Actually, we did not. He actually did was not. Uh, under his two minutes mark. It was more than two minutes. No, it was under. I've Mr. 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 Morez spoke for a minute, 47 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Ackerman. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. All right. That brings us to new business, starting with the presentation by said candidate, Marcella Rodriguez. Ms. Rodriguez? talk first. Uh, can we, we, Mr. Morris, may we have the presentation by the candidate before we comment? Thank you. Okay. Do I comment? Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hello. My name is Marcella Rodriguez, and I'm hoping to fill the open position for nonprofit representative on the board. Um, I'm a very active member throughout the Los Angeles <laughs> County, uh, involved in several nonprofits, um, varying from dealing with issues like homelessness, poverty, and higher education. Um, I really hope that I'm able to join the board, or actually, based on what you said and the bylaws, I will be joining the board. So um, I hope to come into Van Nuys and be able to make a big difference in the community. Um, some of the issues I'm trying to tackle are the economy, uh, the lack of jobs in Van Nuys, and I think in dealing with that, it would help resolve some of the symptoms of homelessness and um, students being undereducated. If you have any questions, feel free to come. I have a quick me. question, if that's all right. What yeah. charity are you specifically associated with? Um, currently, my, I'm mostly active with School on Wheels. Um, we tutor homeless kids. Oh, okay. So, but I'm also active in a few others. 
just want to point a clarification from that. That's all. Sure. All right. The school on Wheels is who we got the documentation from. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Morez, do you have a comment? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Ms. Rodriguez, I hope that they approve you. It's nice to see somebody new. Uh, we keep trying to bring in the same people to be like me running for the other position. You know, you don't want to do that. You want to bring in new, fresh people and people that you folks can work with and that uh, you feel that uh, you can accomplish things. Uh, I will let you know that uh, it doesn't matter how much credit you have to your name or what you've done, et cetera. If you have something that's tied to where racism or some other big issue like that's tied and there, was, there will be some people that will be here to protest uh, a certain candidate uh, based on <coughs> what they heard election night, what they saw election night, and what their children had to go through and be uh, called that night. So uh, they look forward to being here at the next month's meeting. That's when the difference will... Yes. All right. We'll make sure they're here. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, having said that, that was the only candidate is Ms. Rodriguez. So I move that we vote on whether to elect Ms. Rodriguez. Do I have a second? A second. Mr. Secretary. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Wait a Ms. Patton. Patton. I do have a question. Uh, Ms. Rodriguez, do you live here in Van Nuys? I do. I'm a resident of Van Nuys. Thank you. Anything else? Mr. Secretary. All right. Jeff Lynn. Yes. Jason Ackerman. Hell yes. Yeah. Jerry Pessoa. Yes. Stacy Rains. Okay. Yes. All right. Paul Nunn's absent. Jacob Lynn. Of course. Yes. George Thomas. Yes. Howard Benjamin. Yes. John Hendry. Yes. Joseph <laughs> Lazarovitz. Yes. Jerry Martin. Yes. Veronica Marin. Yes. Penny Meyer. Yes. Austin Knoll. Yes. Kathleen Patton. Yes. Maria Skelton. Yes. John Camara. Yes. Carino. Carino. Steve Friedman. Yes. All right, so it passes unanimously. Well, uh, Ms. Rodriguez, come on down if there's somewhere for you to sit. So, so who, which deputy wants to administer the oath of office? No, oh, you. Thank you, first of all. No, we got city council staffers. You don't need me to no. administer it. No, come on the uh, side of the... Yeah. Right yeah. now, right yeah. now. Yeah, that's how it works. You, you should have been here when they made me president. That's, you know, Definitely. you think you're, you think you're shocked. Uh, I was sitting, yeah, sitting in Georgia's seat, swinging my feet. Angie, do you want to administer the oath? They have room over here, actually. You want me to do it? What? I'm going to do that. I, I, what is it? I saw it was squared. I don't know what it is. You're not allowed to be here. Why don't you swear her in? I'm, I'm trying. Uh, Past President ahead, Thomas, would you please help us with the, the Swearing in? Yes. Swearing in? So, you guys can see for today. Um, you can, uh, and make room for you next time. If you want, really, about that. You, know, you could pull it off. Uh, uh, Jeremy. Yes, yeah, sir. So long as she swears the lead. Sorry, I was just curious about the security you were such with. That was all. It wasn't personal. <laughs> Didn't we pledge the Yeah, the United States of America. And, uh, yeah, adheres to the bylaws. I mean, you could you could write it up real quick and swear in in five or ten minutes. You know, just find some language on the internet. Mm. All right. Who lies? That's I can write it up. Should we keep going in the meantime? Here? Yeah, let's keep going in the meantime. All right, let's keep going in the meantime. All right, so while the vice president is attending to that, I'm going to call on our outstanding outreach chairman, Maria Skelton, to review the recent activities of the outreach committee. Ms. Skelton. Everyone, of course, I'm gonna turn my back to you. Sorry, um, y'all know how I feel about the community and stuff. So I am kind of sad to see that a lot of stuff is closing down. But what I proposed a long time ago to our board, <coughs> Q, uh, uh, Carino. So what I, uh, <laughs> uh, Carino. So what I proposed to the board um, a, a long time ago, there's a lot of mom and pop stores, um, of course, in our area. And if we're complaining that the stores are closing, what are we doing to give those stores some business? It's about almost 20 board members with all of y'all together. It could be about 50 or 60 people. 
if 50 or 60 people went across the street to the mom and pop store and just said, let's spend $10 each, that store would be able to hire our young kids. That store would be able to open up and stay open instead of closing. That store would be able to have the spray paint to pay for all the graffiti that's on the, um, on their building. So before we get to talking about all these little stores closing, we first need to look in the mirror and look at ourselves and see what are we doing to help these stores, okay? Um, but y'all know I love the kids. So first, I want to bring up a product of Van Nuys High School. This young man is a great young man. Uh, culinary Arts School. Come on, young man. Hurry up, hurry up. Uh -huh. Ooh, ooh, come on, because you got to say something about yourself. Yeah, I'm putting you on blast. I don't care. Hi, come on, grab the mic, do that. <clears throat> family is looking. Oh. Greet them first, and then it's the family. Uh, hi. hi, board members. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, tell the board Hello. members about yourself. So, um, hi, my name is uh, Christopher Santos. I'm from Van Nuys High School. Um, I've attended for four years. I've done marching band for four years. I was a brass lieutenant for one, and I work under a nonprofit orga organization for culinary called CCAP. And yeah. You can go around this way. What's your grade point average? Um, 3.2. Woo, hello. Mm. Um, and we also want to honor this young man with the certificate from your assembly man's office. Go ahead on. <coughs> We're going to pass. <laughs>